something. So three weeks ago, I had a shitty day put me in the closet, I was crying. It was it was pretty fucking embarrassing. Like, I'm looking at my past self right now and I'm like, you fucking pussy. But I'm not sad about it and I don't regret it. Everybody's allowed to cry sometimes, okay? And so that day, I had went into my job and I was gonna get this really awesome evaluation, which I did. Um, I'd been there a couple years. The thing that I didn't get was a raise and I was like, bummer. Not only did I, didn't I get a raise, but my boss was like, so I'm not gonna give you a raise now or ever. And, you know, basically you're really good at everything you do, but I just don't wanna keep your department. What, silly? <coughs> so I was like, are you firing me? And he's like, no, I would never do that. Like, I'm not gonna fire you. And I was like, are you laying me off? Like, is there another word I'm missing in this story? Um, and he was like, no, no. Um, he's like, I want you to find another job. Like, I want you to take the time and look for another job. I know, I know. So now I'm, I got paid to job hunt. I know. I, that never ever happens and I had the opportunity to do that. So for the last three weeks, I've been job hunting and I've never been more of a hot commodity in my life. I'm telling you, I've gotten, I've applied probably to over about 200 jobs. I probably got, I've gotten enough calls, emails, interviews, and second interviews where I couldn't keep track of the companies. There's one company that stood out to me and the reason they stood out to me, don't let, let me, don't get it twisted because the company's boring as fuck, like most companies are. Uh, but the way they phrased their job description was like, instead of being like, join our team or join our company, it was like, join our posse. We need somebody to add to our, like, like our posse. And I was like, posse, who the fuck writes that? And I was like, interesting. So I applied, I ended up getting an interview and the people that I interviewed with were so me. They were so chill. We all have the exact same frame of mind. We're all like creative, we're all, we're all writers. And it's like, we're like recreating the marketing department for this giant healthcare tech firm. And it's awesome. Like I was, a job is a job and can be boring as fuck. But if you got good people to work with, then that makes all the difference, which is why I was sad to leave my first company because I, grown attached to these dudes like you know <clears throat> it's not just like you go to work and you go home like we were like a our whole company is like a family like I know the spouses I know the kids I know you know I bring you know medicine when you're sick like people help me move when I need to be to move we go out like we were a close-knit group and that's why I was sad and I was really gonna miss that and you know, I'm getting the same vibe with th this new company. The, these people, right off the bat, without knowing them from a hole in the wall, the group that I'm gonna be working with is just so on my level. And that's what made me fall in love. Just so happens, they felt the same way. And I got a call that was like, you're the one, like you vibe with everyone and we want you to work with us. Do not say yes to anyone else. Like we'll talk money tomorrow. And I was like, yes. Even going through all that, even going through all the interviews, all the applying, all that bullshit, at the end of the day, when I still, even though I had the green light to go on interviews and the green light to get a new job, I still felt like I took a couple of days before I even like told my boss because, you know, it's still, it's still weird. It, like it hurts that like I have to leave and, you know, they don't want me to leave. But at the same point, like business is business just because they like me and I like them, it doesn't mean it's a good fit. And I had been looking for jobs probably for the last six, seven, eight months. And um, it, I didn't find anything I wanted. And now that I had this green light and I was able to heavy hit it all day, every day, I found a new job and I found a new company within three weeks. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be working in Manhattan in a couple of weeks. That's right, I'm going back down to the city. <sighs> A commute up the ass but more money more problems right <laughs> but that was my terrible day and from three weeks ago and how it got shifted into this new opportunity with a completely new outlook on life and like who knows what the fuck's gonna happen and I hope it's everything that I think it's gonna be and I'm pretty still I'm sad about leaving my job still but I know I'm gonna keep in touch with everybody and honestly it was a great company to work for I have an amazing boss I'm gonna miss him, I'm gonna miss everybody, and it's just it's just the end of this chapter, and I'm very thankful for having this opportunity, and although this new career is gonna definitely inhibit my writing personally and my videos, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. We all gotta eat, right?
Well, that's all I gotta say. Um, new things are scary, but I guess it's part of life. Not too bad. Life is not too bad. And that's my word. We're done.